Hi, I'm Nicole with Envirosite. Today, I'll show you how to keep your crawler pressurized to protect it while inspecting sewers. The Rover X inspection crawler is designed to keep water out, but that doesn't mean it's impermeable. Every major Rover X component, crawler, camera, lift, is pressurized to prevent water entering. But over time, with use and exposure to sewers, your crawler will lose pressure. Repressurizing your crawler is an important part of maintaining it between servicing. The Rover X monitors the internal pressure of each component. When pressure drops too low, a warning will appear on the pendant. A yellow symbol indicates lower than ideal pressure. Red indicates that levels are dangerously low and the component should be repressurized immediately. To determine which component is throwing the warning, navigate to the ATEX monitoring page. It will list attached components, their internal pressures, and indicate when low or dangerously low. When repressurizing your crawler, the system must remain powered on to ensure adequate pressure is added without overpressurizing. You will need the pressurization valve adapter, the regulator, and a canister of dry CO2. It's important to use only dry air, as any moisture inside a component can damage the sensitive electronics. Now, locate the valve. Each component has a valve sealed with a screw. Use a flathead screwdriver to unscrew the valve cover, then attach the adapter. Screw your CO2 canister into the regulator. Then, hold the regulator tubing in place while turning the dial to increase the pressure. Watch the screen of the pendant as the pressure increases. The safe range for almost every component is between 500 and 1000 millibar, or 7.2 to 14.5 PSI. When the pressure reaches the right level, you're done. Unscrew the adapter, replace the valve cover, and turn the regulator dial back to zero for storage. Whenever you repressurize a component, keep track of which one and when. Components that frequently lose pressure indicate a failing seal or other issue. Be sure the system is off before disconnecting any components. Watch our preventative maintenance video and request a crawler maintenance logbook to learn more.